In this short video, we'll explain how you can use our online banking website to easily set up a standing order. This is helpful if you want to make regular, recurring payments to a person or a business that's based in the UK. If you want to know how to make international payments, search International Payments using the search bar on our website. Before you begin, you'll need to have some details handy. The name of the person or business you're paying, their account number and sort code, the amount you wish to pay, the date you wish to make the first payment, the date of the last payment if you want there to be one, and how often you wish to pay. You'll also need access to your phone or emails so you can receive a verification code. First, log into online banking using your login details. Then, select Pay and Transfer in the dashboard on the left. Next, select the account you'd like the standing order to come from. If you're setting up payments to an account you've paid before, select Pay a Saved Payee and select your Saved Payee. If you're setting up payments to an account you've not paid before, select Pay Someone New. Then select In the UK and then enter the payee's name, sort code and account number. If you're paying a business, select the Pay a Business tick box. If you're not, then you do not need to select this. You'll also need to enter a reference for the payment. Finish adding a new payee by clicking Verify Payee. This can help make sure you're sending money to the right account and avoid potential scams. At this point, there are a few possible outcomes. The most common are Account name is a match, which means the account matches the payee's name and you can proceed with the payment. Account name is not a match, which means the account name doesn't match the payee's name. You need to double check the details, otherwise your money could be sent to the wrong person. Criminals lie about why these details differ to trick you into making payments to them. If you're being told to ignore that they don't match, do not proceed, it's a scam. Account name is a close match, which means the account name is close to the payee's name. You'll be shown the name on the account you're paying to help you decide whether it's the right person. Double check the details before sending any payment. Unable to check the account, which is because some banks don't take part in this service so we aren't always able to verify the details. You can continue with the payment, but check the account name and details are correct by calling the person or business you are paying on a trusted number first. Criminals will target banks where it's not possible to verify these details. You are therefore at greater risk of being scammed. You'll then be taken to the Payment Details page. Here, you'll need to enter the amount you want to transfer. Then select Pay Later or Create a Standing Order tick box underneath. Next, click on Create a Standing Order. You'll then be taken to the Standing Order Details page. Here, you can select Set a different first payment if you wish to pay a different amount for the first payment. And if you haven't done it already, you will need to enter a reference. Then select the payment frequency, select a payment start date, and select whether you want to set a final payment date. Finish setting up the Standing Order by clicking Continue. Now, if you're paying a new payee, you need to answer some questions about fraud and scams. It's important that you read these each time and think about whether the payment you're trying to make could be part of a scam. This will help keep your money safe. After you answer each question, click Continue. Next, you need to confirm whether you've read the fraud and scam information and if you still want to set up the payment. If you agree, select the tick box and click Continue Payment. You'll then be taken to the Confirm Details page where you can review the payment details. If they're correct, click Confirm and Pay. If something's not right, you can click on Edit Payment Details instead. Once you've clicked Confirm and Pay, we may send you a verification code by text or email. On the Verify It's You page, you'll need to enter this code along with your password. This is for security. After you've done this, click Verify Code. We'll then process your payment request. If successful, you'll see a confirmation message saying that your payment request has been sent. If you paid someone new, we'll also save their details as a saved payee. Now you'll be able to set up payments to them without having to enter their details again. Click on Return to My Accounts to go back to the main screen. You can view, amend or delete your standing orders by clicking Schedule Payments in the dashboard on the left. Here you'll also find details of any direct debits you have on any of your cooperative bank accounts.